Hi, this is a video for people who use the uh, Git application. Um, so Git is, that's the thing for Git. If you spell Git backwards, you get TIG. Okay, so I'm gonna do TIG. I installed it from somewhere I'm on a Mac OS. I probably did brew install TIG or something. I don't know how I did it. I know virtually nothing about it, but I'm gonna show you what I do now. Just a couple of little things. Okay, so if I do TIG. So it's giving me, okay, I'm gonna do a queue to get out of it. It gave me sort of the equivalent of that. Um, this is a Git log, and you can see the comments that I've put in the commit notes. You can't see the changes. Okay, so let me just go back to TIG. So here you see the same. Um, oh, yeah, now I'll press enter. And over in the right hand, it splits. You see the commit hash code. That's called a hash code. And you see the changes. I'm pressing space now to go down. Um, and you can see the diff as well. So it's already better than Git log. Let's go down to another one just to sort of show you. Um, now you can look at the detailed um, you know, differences that I did. So it's more handy than Git log, showing you some extra things. I know you can do this with some GUI-based tools if you like GUI-based tools. I don't, so down with that. So I typed a Q to get rid of that thing. Um, oh, and it, so let's see. So I'm pressing now arrow keys to go down. Um, I'll go up, I could use arrow keys, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna type K, which goes up in Vim. Now to go down again, I'm gonna do control N, which goes down in Emacs. So basically it has key bindings for, you know, Emacs and Vim and et cetera. And let's see, you can type H to get help and you can see some key bindings there. And I'm sure there's really great, I know there are great um, tutorials online as well. Tons of stuff you can do. I've only just shown you two characters. Right, uh, enter and Q to get out of something. It looks like less than will go back to the previous state as well. Um, highly recommend it. It is super fast. 